Today, we will look at how to set up email notifications on Hequision IP cameras, DVRs, and NVRs. You can use this functionality to send email notifications to the customer or to the appropriate admin and control center. This configuration will be extremely user-friendly and assist in identifying events such as motion detection, line crossing, intrusion detection, no video, hard disk failed, and others. How to set up event email notification. Log into the device. Select configuration in the main menu. Then click network and advanced settings. You can see the email as the first option. Enter sender name. Enter the sender's email ID. I am using my company email as the sender name and sender email ID. We can get the SMTP server address by searching the internet. For that, you have to type Gmail SMTP settings. From the result, you have to check for Google's official website. Otherwise, you will get an old server address or you may wrongly guided. Use only Google website. Here, we can see the Gmail SMTP server address. Copy the server address and paste it into the device's SMTP server. Enable SSL. Gmail is using SSL for sending mail. Enable attached image to get pictures as attachments in your mail. Note the SMTP port number and type the same in device SMTP port. In travel is the time period for receiving mail. Every 2 seconds, you will get mail. Enable authentication. The username will be the sender's email ID. Password and confirm are not your Gmail password. You have to create an app password in Gmail. Select Google Settings, which is on the top right. Select Manage Google Account. It will open a new tab. In that, you have to select the security option. By default, two-step verification is not enabled. Without enabling two-step verification, the app password cannot be generated. Here, I have already enabled the two-step verification. To enable two-step verification go through Google Documents. Now search for the app password in the search bar. Select the app password. Google will ask for which device you need to create a password for. In the select app option, you can select other, type any name, and click generate to create an app password. App password is generated. If the password is missed, you have to create it again. Now copy the password, paste it in the DVR's email password, and confirm. Now we can send mail to three email addresses as per requirement. Type the receiver's name and email address. I am using my email address to receive the mail. We can self-test the configuration by selecting the test button. If it is successful, all the configurations are correct. If the test is successful, the receiver will get a test email confirmation. If you have multiple devices in the same location or multiple customers, you can modify the device name to identify your customer and the device. Now we will configure motion detection. Go to event enable motion detection. Click enable motion detection. Clear the full screen detection, select draw area, and mark the place where motion needs to be identified. Select schedule set the time as per the requirement, 
if it is a full day detection leave as it is. If you have an AccuSense DVR or NVR, false notifications will be stopped. In the linkage method, select send email and save the settings. Once motion is detected, the DVR will send mail to all the receivers that are mentioned in the DVR. The mail will have all the details, device name, sender name, automatic mail type, date, and time of the event. And most importantly, it will have an attachment to the event. This mail will continue until the end of the motion is detected. You can download or view the pictures immediately. Even if the DVR is lost, we will have at least a picture of the incident. Subscribe to my channel to get all configuration videos, and if the video is useful, give a like. Ah, Thank you.